Dork Lair. Welcome to another Dork Lair action figure review. Today I'm taking a look at the Mythic Legion's Thwick, the goblin from the Siege of Bjorngar wave. Now this figure has been out for a while. Um, it's not something that is like a hot off the press kind of review, so it's a little bit of a dated review. But my goal lately has been to sort of weave in some in-stock items, items that Oftentimes I do reviews and it's like by the time we get these exclusives and whatnot in hand, the figures are sold out, they're jacked up in price, and it's almost like a tease just to see it. So this is one that's just readily available for the regular $50 aftermarket retailer price. Um, so you can just go right out and get this figure if you like it. So let's get into this review. So I no longer have the box for this guy, but I do have his card. I save all the cards. I've been getting rid of the boxes, so... You can read his bio there. He is part of the regular group of goblins led by King Noglin, part of the Legion of Erethir. Gob Hollow, I believe, is the Cavern Goblins uh, kingdom or whatever. And so, yeah, so there's, there's his sort of like card and bio if you want to read that thwick. All right, so I've got him sort of stripped down to his basic look. And starting with the head sculpt, this is a great head. I mean, between the horns, which are removable and compatible with you know other figures and other heads with those ports on the side um and that awesome grin and that really nicely sort of like weathered and chipped and scratched up helmet um he's got a ton of character he's just got this very distinct look you know this is a specific character this is thwick which is very cool so he is an archer um he's like a he's like a lookout of gob hollow so he sort of scouts the territory and sort of is a lookout in case any intruders come to the kingdom. Um, but yeah, so he's sort of this sly, sneaky guy, and he kind of looks it too with that grin. I love that. I love that head sculpt. And you can have some fun swapping out those horns and putting some of the other parts on from some of the other figures. So that's pretty cool there. And then the general sort of like scheme of the armor is like you have the two tones. So you have kind of like that rough dark gunmetal blackish sort of like gray of the helmet the shoulder pauldrons which are an accessory those are removable the chest and then the boots and gauntlets so you've got that and then you have like the shinier silver parts that run through the thighs the t the sides of the torso and then the upper arms so that's pretty cool so he's got that kind of two-tone look and then there is a little bit of gold sort of the chainmail parts of the arms um down here at the elbows and then sort of in the back and the legs there and the um the joints are cast in roughly a similar color to that gold chain mail and then of course he's got this blue loincloth i do like the look of that on here kind of like that blue mixing in with the red it's just a great style of figure it's a pretty cool looking color scheme some of the fine details that are painted in um, first of all, there's a lot of like weathering and I think sort of silver dry brushing across the, the black, but you also have these buckles that are painted, rivets painted in there. You got some rivets on the shoulder pads there. Um, so a lot of nice detail. You have some shading. Uh, it's kind of hard to tell with my lighting, but um, you have some like wash in, like a black wash in with the blue there. And then even the horns have a little bit of detail, a little bit of, I think, wash and shading there too. Um, his eyes are painted very sharply. There's a little bit of darkness around the eyes to give him a little more sinister, evil kind of look there. Fantastic looking goblin. I love the goblins. I love the buck. I love everything about it. It does share parts with the 2.0 like elves and stuff. Um, certain parts, I think, are shared. Maybe the upper arms and parts of the torso. Yeah, it's a really cool looking figure. All right, let's see how Thwick compares to a few other figures. First up, here he is next to the king himself, Noglin. And then on the right is uh, the assassin, Noobnik. And then here's how he compares next to an elf and a dwarf. And then here he is next to a 1.0 sized figure that is Krona on the left. And on the right is one of those combatants fight for glory gladiator figures, wave two of which just went up for pre-order. And I'm all in on that second wave. It looks amazing. And finally, here he is next to a couple uh, custom kit bash figures I did on the left is 
my um, kitbashed Cthulhu figure. And on the right is a two-headed orc mutant uh, custom I did as well. Okay, getting a look at the accessories in addition to the horns and the shoulder pauldrons we saw in the details. Those are accessories. Those are removable. Um, he's got this shield. So that's a pretty cool looking shield there. There's definitely some black wash and I like the silver um, spikes on the side. Shield has the, um, the peg that will peg right into his back perfectly without the adapters, but it also has the little holes that you can put the handle on. So, you know, when you want him holding the actual shield, you can put that handle on there. Additionally, he comes with the crossbow that we've seen with a few other figures. It's got a sort of a workable uh, elastic bowstring that has one loose arrow that you can actually like put on there and it will peg on and sort of have that ready to fire look. And the fletching is, is painted blue and then the arrowhead is painted silver along with the shaft. And then you have the quiver of arrows same kind of color scheme. So it looks like he pulled it right out of that quiver and then some nice silver details there. And that's got a clip that can clip onto the belt. Same belt as all the other figures. It can either go around his waist or around his shoulders. And then he's got this curved blade right here. Nice silver painted blade and some details. I mean, it's a little sloppy there on the handle. Like you can see there was a missed spot there with the wash, but overall, I mean, it's gonna be in his hand usually, so. It looks okay. Okay, getting a look at the articulation on Thwick. I removed the horns and the shoulder pauldrons just so you can see the full range. Of course, when you have those on there, it's going to be a little more limited. Um, but he can look up and down, and he can cock his head a little bit side to side. There's just a single ball at the that pegs into the, the um, socket in the head there. His shoulders have a decent range of motion. He can bring his arms up slightly past 90 degrees out to the side, and then he can rotate all the way around. There is a single joint at the elbow. His arm comes up just probably just slightly past 90 degrees. You can turn the elbow as well um, at, um, above the elbow there, and then you can also turn it below at the gauntlet. This piece on the back of the elbow can get in the way a little bit, and that's glued on. So, you know, if you're really forcing your figure into positions, it, could come unglued, but mine's been pretty solid anyways. In the hands, he's got the horizontal hinge, and then you can rotate the hand around. At the top of the torso, there's a ball joint. He can crunch forward and you can crunch back. He can go side to side a little bit. And then at the waist, it's just a swivel. His legs can kick forward quite a bit and they can kick back at that hip. He can go out into the splits. Um, you can twist at the top of the thigh, single jointed knee. I got some very stiff knees here, comes back that far. And then there's also a twist below the knee joint there. Um, the feet can point down and up on that hinge there. They can twist and then they also have a, an angled rocker. So nice 2.0 Mythic Legions articulation, nothing mind blowing, no double jointed elbows or, or, uh, shoulder butterfly joints or anything crazy like that. Overall, he's a pretty awesome figure. I do highly recommend this. I think you should go out and get it. If you're kind of like looking for a goblin, this would be a great option. I do still kind of prefer Noobnik as my favorite goblin, but this guy is right up there with him. Uh, just an awesome looking goblin, a very unique look. He's got that kind of real sneaky grin on there. Great options, lots of fun accessories, and just a solid, solid release from the Four Horsemen in the Mythic Legions line. Anyway, thanks for watching my video. Until next time, may the Force be with you. Follow me into